Hey guys, Sulugia860 here, and today I want to show you guys my Red Gyarados collection. Now, I have a couple of Shining Magikarp items that snuck in here, but that's just because I love Magikarp too, even though I don't quote-unquote collect it. So, this is the second collection series I'm doing. My first one was my Frost Rotom, Frost Rotom series, which you can find on my channel previously. So, yeah, I'm excited to show this to you guys. This is, Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon, regular and shining, even though I don't click regular. It's just been one of my favorites since, you know, first gen. So, Gyarados is very near and dear to my heart. So, I'm going to show each item to you guys individually, talk a little bit about it, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, <laughs> let's get this started. The first item I want to show you guys is my favorite, being the Red Gyarados 2009 Pokemon Center promotion. This plush is absolutely gorgeous. The detail on it is fantastic. You can see there the nice detail in the eyes and the mouth and pretty much any other. The whole plush is just gorgeous and you have this nice tag here. It's really nice and uh, holographic. I wish they would do this with more tags and there's the back. So you just look at the, it's just a gorgeous plush. And the thing that makes this plush unique is it bends. It has a wire inside of it so you can bend it and pose it in any way you want. And posable plush are pretty rare, actually. I don't know, I don't think they make any here in the uh, U.S. specifically. Not that I, you know, go looking for random plush, but they haven't even made very many wire Pokemon plushes either, as a matter of fact. This is one of the very few that they've made. And it is, it is awesome. It's a little more pricey than Magikarp due to the wire and the size, but it's totally worth it. This plush is gorgeous. I got it back when it came out in 2009 along with a shiny Magikarp plush and it was worth every penny. Now they're um they're really expensive. So there's that. <laughs> nice fangs here. Its mouth is perfectly formed. It's got the shoop de whoop face. Gyarados is firing his laser. Blah. Gyarados is just so fierce looking. I love it. So you can find this plush on uh, eBay from time to time. There's not there. There's no. There's none there any at the at the moment. But don't spend too much for this. You should not. You should be able to find this for under two hundred. I know a certain website which will go on name that sells it for like four ninety nine or three ninety nine, and that's absolutely ridiculous. Do not pay that. Do just do not. Do not pay that. That's absolutely ridiculous. You can find this if you do some digging and have some patience. So there's the red Gyarados plush. The next item I have here that I want to show you guys is the Shining Gyarados Tumi figure. This is a promotional item that was given out in January of 2010, I believe, to anybody who purchased five or more figures at Pokemon Centers or at Toys R Us's. Yes, there are Toys R Us in Japan. They have everything, man. And as you can see, this figure is super detailed, painted beautifully. There are no major errors, anything like that, like you often find with <laughs> Jack's figures. And here I have the regular blue Gyarados, you know, regular Gyarados's form to compare. And they're both great figures. I picked up a regular Gyarados just because I love it so much. It's got that cool blue, like, stand so it'll stand up. And they're completely identical, minus the color, even with the base color. They're very good looking together. Gyarados couple. <laughs> the colors just contrast great. You can see up close, they're just gorgeous figures. The red, the blue Gyarados has a little more shine to it, like it's uh, the overcoat is different compared to the red Gyarados one which has a more matte type finish at least on the body not on the um his head thing his horns would you call that horns or just part of his head I don't know so that was the red Gyarados Tomy figure the next figure I have to show you guys is the kid figure 
This was a promotional item given out to anybody who won it in 2005, and it is kid figures or finger puppets, essentially. You can just stick your finger and be like, I'm Gyarados. <laughs> I mean, if I saw a Gyarados in real life, I would... First, I would try to catch it, and then it would probably kill me from hyper-beaming me to death, because that's all Gyarados does in the anime. Anyway, getting sidetracked, this is my favorite kid figure I own. I was really lucky to get it. I was browsing one day on an online shop and I saw it. And uh, the auction was kind of old, so I emailed the guy and he was like, I still have it. And I'm like, yay. So that's how I got this. So the fact that I got it from persevering and searching means a lot to me. And it's also a very neat figure. It's got a counterpart, which is blue. You know, the regular Gyarados. So there is another one similar like this. Red Gyarados is very rare now. You can find um, most of his other the kids other lottery kid figures that were released in his set, like um, Rayquaza and Mudkip and Charizard, for example. Um, they're more easy to find than this guy right here. So I'm really glad to have this. I know a couple of Red Gyarados collectors who don't have this in their collection. So this is probably, um, next to the plush, one of my favorite items. This kid figure is just completely awesome. And so, yeah, that was the kit figure. Next up, I have the charm set, which is another fantastic item. This came with shiny Magikarp and Red Gyarados, obviously. And this charm set is fantastic. The Pokemon Center makes beautiful charms. If you ever go into Japan or find a chance to get any of the charms they make, they're, su they're, they're quality items, unlike most of the stuff you find here. <laughs> So they have a nice shiny gold chain, unlike regular charms, which have a um, silver. They're also outlined in gold, which is another unique feature to these. You can see the Pokemon set. Well, you could see it. Come on, Magikarp. Scoot, scoot, scoot. You can kind of see the Pokemon Center thing there. And then they have this neat waterish background going on. There you go. You could sort of see the Pokeball, Pokemon Center thing there. So that's a neat neat background and you this retailed for 300 yen that's what that 300 at the bottom means uh, obviously you're not gonna pay that if, if you buy it from somebody you know import it because that's just not the way things work unfortunately and you see made in made in China well, for sale only in Japan blah 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 blahs really great detail here come on camera there we go so good Gyarados pose great Magikarp pose Carp, carp, magic carp, carp, carp. 2009, you can see all the copyright information, Game Freak. Fun stuff. So this is the charm set, another great item. Definitely one of my favorite. Everything I own in my co this collection is my favorite. I can't, I can't narrow it down. So, yes, this was the charm set. Next up, I have two unique stickers here. These I actually had to hunt for myself, just like my kid figure, and I found them on the Yahoo Japan Auctions website, and I was really thrilled to get them because these are really nice, high-quality stickers. They are gorgeous. They make excellent tattoos, if any Gyarados Magikarp fans out there. They sold for 500 yen each, which is more expensive than the charms. I don't know how that works out, but they are very nice stickers. Um, Magikarp is my favorite here because, I mean, look at that. It's got a crown. It is the king of carp. Magic, blah, blah, blah. Magikarp, the king of carp. I lost my breath there. I was so excited for it. So that crown is just be great, fantastic. And then Gyarados has these neat little, like, whirlpool swirls. Because I'm sure Gyarados would be just causing all types of natural disasters if, if it was real. I mean, it tears through cities and burns things with fire, according to the Pokédex entry. So it's got this nice gold rim around it, just like the charm set. And these stickers kind of have this sh nice um, glittery shine to them. Magikarp glows, which is it doesn't glow. I mean, it, it gold, the gold color almost looks like it glows. Hey, there's, that's what I meant. Enunciate. Jeez. So that crown, I mean, whoever came up with the design for that... Kudos to you, good sir or ma'am. Definitely a huge, you know, homage to the King of Carp right there. 
Continuing on with flat items, here I have a Gyarados and Magikarp clear file. A clear file is basically a Japanese folder. Um, essentially, they just you, they work as you know regular folders. You put your paper in them, blah blah, you know whatever. But they don't fit standard American sized paper. So if you ever want to buy one, you know to bring to school or college or what have you, they don't fit standard papers. But they would certainly fit things like drawing and stuff like that. You know, little sticky notes and doodles, stuff like that. I use them for wall art. You can see this neat magic harp on the back with like the sh the shining uh, water s stuff coming down on him, which is cool. It's translucent, which is neat. Uh, I use it for wall art. That's what I all the clear files I own I use for wall art. And down here you can see the Pokemon Center information. Or let's zoom in. There we go. These sold for 190 yen, which is like three dollars, maybe three fifty U.S., which is not bad. These are usually very, very um, inexpensive. If you want to get something to support whatever Pokemon you collect or enjoy, or you know, just get in it for a friend, whatever, you can find them on eBay for like ten bucks, usually, plus shipping. Uh, they're often called pencil boards as well. So if you see any, you know, things where they call them pencil boards, that's a common, you know, error where they call them pencil boards. So they're essentially the same thing. And this Gyarados, shoop de whoop face, here we go again. He's, Dr. Octagonopus is going to get him. So that was the clear file. Next up, I have another one of my near and dear items to my heart. And that is my shiny Magikarp King of Carp plush. This plush is absolutely adorable. Ultra plush and soft. It doesn't have a wire in it, unlike uh, Gyarados. Which is alright, because I don't know why I would need one. I mean, it's not a big, long dragon snake like Gyarados is. It's got this pretty holographic tag. Very nice and golden yellow. I love this color, which is another reason why I love shiny Magikarp so much. Got the nice Pokemon Center emblem and uh, shiny Magikarp's font in Japanese. The back tag right here. And um, that's a great tag. I wish they'd bring those tags back. See the nice tail. They nice stitched it good. Um, great detail. Got a touch tag. It's got um, these neat, like, what would you... They're whiskers? Are they whiskers? I don't know my marine biology very well. Forgive me. It's got an ultra derpy mouth and derpy eyes, which is signature for Magikarp. He's got a bottom fin, which uh, help him, it helps him stand, or stand, quotes, sit up, I guess would be a better word, because Magikarp doesn't have feet. Now, that's a scary thought. It's a just a great plush. Its mouth is stitch great. Its eyes are perfect, and um, the Gyarados... It's got a Tomy figure, like the red blue Gyarados I just showed you. And um the Tomy figure for Shining Magikarp is probably the most expensive one in existence. Being I think I saw I could be wrong on this, but I believe I've seen it sell for over twenty thousand yen, which is a ton of money. I can't even comp it probably would result in thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars US and probably uh, European pounds as well. It would just be skyrocket because Japanese yen is worth so much more than our currencies. But overall, this is a fantastic plush, and I will treasure it. I'll never sell it because that would break my heart. And it is Magikarp, the king of effing carp. So this was my Red Gyarados slash teeny tiny shiny Magikarp collection, I guess you could say. I really enjoy showing my collections to you guys. And, you know, what do you guys collect? It doesn't have to be Pokemon related. Um, just let me know. I love hearing about things every other people collect. Um, it's definitely a, a fun hobby I enjoy. And I like sharing it with other people. And my Red Gyarados, Gyarados in general, and Magikarp are two of my favorite Pokemon. I adore them. I really hope they'll release more Red Gyarados merchandise in the future. And I think my next collection video will be, hmm, Landshark related maybe? Huh, oh, strokes imaginary beard. 
Well, thank you guys for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Your likes and watches we mean a lot to me. And I will see you all later.